Let's explore the role you play in communicating with those stakeholders. The information that's communicated to stakeholders is sensitive. For example, if you send an email to stakeholders about a recent security breach, it's important to be mindful of what you communicate and who you communicate to. Different stakeholders may need to be informed about different issues. As a result, your communications with them need to be clear, concise, and focused. Security is a detail-driven profession, so it's essential that you stay mindful of the details when sending your communications. Stakeholders are very busy people. Your communications should be precise, avoid unnecessary technical terms, and have a clear purpose. You don't want them to have to guess the reason for your email or why it matters to them. To help with this, ask your manager or immediate supervisor's questions to find out what the stakeholders you communicate with need to know. As you may recall, earlier we discussed what it means to have a security mindset. A part of that mindset means asking questions about the assets and data you're protecting. For example, you could ask, what's the most important data to protect on a daily basis? Or what security tool has been most important or useful to protect our data and assets? Having a security mindset also means understanding what matters most to stakeholders so you know what information to share with them. Effective communication involves relaying only the information that is most relevant to stakeholders. Staying informed about security issues helps stakeholders do their jobs more effectively. Your role in communicating with stakeholders is to help them obtain that information. This is yet another example of how essential your role is within a security team. Coming up, we'll discuss the information that is most important to communicate with stakeholders. Previously, we discussed communicating information that is important to stakeholders. It's essential that communications are specific and clear so stakeholders understand what's happening and what actions may need to be taken. In this video, we'll go into more detail about how to create precise and clear communications. Creating security communications to share with stakeholders is similar to telling a great story. Stories typically have a beginning, middle, and end. Somewhere in that story, there is some sort of conflict and an eventual resolution. This concept is also true when telling security stories to stakeholders. The security story details what the security challenge is, how it impacts the organization, and possible solutions to the issue. The security story also includes data related to the challenge, its impact, and proposed solutions. This data could be in the form of reports that summarize key findings or a list of issues that may need immediate attention. Let's use the following scenario as an example. You've been monitoring system logs and notice possible malicious code execution in the logs that could lead to the exposure of sensitive user information. Now you need to communicate what is happening to a stakeholder, in this case, your immediate supervisor. The first step is to detail the issue, potential malicious code execution found while monitoring the logs. The next step is to refer to the organization's incident response playbook and mention the suggested guidance from the playbook regarding malicious code found in system logs. This shows your supervisor that you've been paying attention to the procedures already established by the team. The final piece of your story is to provide a possible solution to the issue. In this scenario, you may not be the final decision maker regarding what action is taken, but you've explained to the stakeholder what has happened and a possible solution to the problem. You can communicate the story we just discussed in various ways. Send an email, share a document, or even communicate through the use of a visual representation. You can also use incident management or ticketing systems. Many organizations have incident management or ticketing systems that follow the steps outlined in their security playbooks. Some scenarios are better expressed by using visual elements. Visuals are used to convey key details in the form of graphs, charts, videos, or other visual effects. 
This allows stakeholders to view a pictorial representation of what is being explained. Visual dashboards can help you tell a full security story to stakeholders.